This is the EM101 EMF meter. This was set to me for evaluation purposes, but all opinions are my own. This thing comes in some nice packaging and includes a user manual, a charging cable, and a little strap here that you can connect onto the bottom. Charge it up right here on the bottom and it will hold a charge for up to 16 hours. This thing's really super portable and it's really super lightweight. It weighs about three ounces. It's about five inches this way, about two inches this way, and about five eighths of an inch this way. You can see it in size comparison to a Fire Stick remote control. These meters are great for if like, you're concerned about something in your home, an electromagnetic field, radiation from a cell phone tower, you know, something in your office, or if you're just concerned about a certain or a specific device that you have in your home. So you can see it's capable of measuring electric field strength, radiation power, and magnetic field strength. It'll even tell you the polarity of a magnet, which I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to do some tests around the house I'm going to show you too. It's got a measurement range of 50 megahertz to 3.5 gigs, so it covers a whole spectrum of frequencies. Thin film transistor, 2.0 color screen on here with a graphical menu. You've got an arrow left and an arrow right right here and a hold button. If you find a reading that you want to hold, you just press hold and it freezes it and you press it again to unfreeze it. You can customize some stuff in here. For instance, let's go over here to there's an over limit alarm on here and you can adjust each of those manually. If you want to change the over limit, I'm just going to leave them alone. You can change the unit type that's on here if you want to on the radiation field and magnetic field. This thing will go to sleep after a certain amount of minutes and you can set that time here and it'll also auto shut down after a certain amount of hours. You can set that and you can actually turn the alarm sounds off and on. I'm going to leave them on for now so that you can hear them. It's got three different ways of working here. This main screen right here shows you all of the different things at the same time, which is my favorite because you can see everything that's going on around you. So I have a guitar pickup right here. You can see the magnetic field reading right there. 4.2, 4.8. Now watch what happens as I bring in this magnet closer to it on the south side. And you can see the reading's starting to change and it knows I'm on the south pole right here and it's sensing a magnetic field. Here it comes. You can see now it knows it's on the north pole and this is the main big magnet here, right up on there. And it's moved from nano Teslas to milli Teslas and giving me an alarm. So there's also a horizontal electric field graph on here and a magnetic field horizontal graph. So let me show you that. This is kind of cool. It just runs a line across here. And as it senses stuff coming, the graph changes. So I'm going to bring the south side of this pickup into here and you watch that line lift. You can see it right there start to lift. Totally senses the south side of that magnet. So let me flip around to the north side and watch this line completely drop. It's a way more powerful magnet on this side. Look at that. Yep, and now it's sensing an alarm too. All right, we can see it here in front of my microwave oven. Nothing's going on. I put a glass of water in here just to make sure there's something in the microwave. Watch, watch what happens. That's creepy. Six feet away from my router and it is on the other side of this wall. Watch what happens as I get towards my router and my Verizon LTE network extender. Walking into the room, look at that. It just immediately starts going off as soon as I get within a range of it. There's the LTE. So I'm looking at those numbers. Let's get up near the Wi-Fi router. Look at that. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to find out. Let me walk out of the room. And I'm back to about six feet away and one wall. It's on the other side of the wall. Pretty crazy, huh? So if you're wondering what kind of electric fields or radiation fields or magnetic fields are being generated by everyday household items in your house, this is a good way to find out.